Cool. Welcome, everybody. Um, today's webinar is brought to you by Bullhorn and Sourcebreaker. And we're going to be covering off how you can win more clients uh, and double your candidate pool in 2023 with Bullhorn and Sourcebreaker. Um, by sort of introduction into the actual webinar, Bullhorn acquired Sourcebreaker back in July. Really excited about it. Long term uh, search and match partner, successful search and match partner. So we're really excited about the acquisition and what it brings to Bullhorn customers and vice versa for Sourcebreaker customers that might be looking at Bullhorn. So really uh, excited to uh, run this webinar today and talk you through the benefits of obviously using both together. By way of introduction, my name is Liam Ryan. I'm the Senior Product Marketing Manager for Automation and AI, and I'm joined by Adam Dale, who's the Sales and Strategy Director from Sourcebreaker, uh, and previously was the, obviously the founder of Sourcebreaker and the CRO, uh, and is now obviously joined into, into Bullhorn. Quick bit of housekeeping before we get started. So this session will be recorded and shared after, so don't worry about sort of writing down notes and looking to get sort of recordings and slides. Everything will be sent out to you after this webinar. Um, everyone will be on mute for the duration of the session. So um, apologies to anybody who's tried to start talking and we can't hear you. Um, and then feel free to ask any questions in the dedicated panel. We are having a dedicated Q&A session at the end of the webinar. So feel free to put any questions in there and we'll tackle those in that session at the end. So let's get started. So in terms of agenda, we're going to be running through sort of three topics and then doing the, the Q&A. We're going to be looking at why search and match is important. We're then going to have Adam run through an overview of Sourcebreaker and how it can help your business. And then we're also going to be sort of looking to the future. What does it mean now that Bullhorn has acquired Sourcebreaker uh, and what, basically what it means in terms of Sourcebreaker and Bullhorn working together. So really excited for that. Hope you find it useful. Um, and let's get started. So why is search and match important in today's market? Well, um, as search and match suggests, it's the process of finding candidates across multiple sources and then matching them to appropriate jobs. Um, and every year, Bullhorn does our grid research. And in 2022, some of the key data that we picked up from the 4,000 people that we surveyed was that candidate acquisition is the top priority for agencies in 2022. And that's largely because talent shortages in the market is the top challenge that they're finding. And we all know you have to be un uh, living under a rock to not realise sort of the times that we're in from a candidate shortage perspective. And this is also backed by increased competition. And that's the number one challenge to winning new business for those that we, uh, that we interviewed. So really what we're looking at here is a situation where candidates are difficult to find. There's increased competition in the market. We really need to make sure that our search and match efforts are on point in order to be successful. And the market effectively dictates those that find candidates the best or, or most effectively will be the most successful and therefore a successful search and match strategy is critical to recruitment agencies. So the headlines from that research in terms of the top three priorities were obviously, as we've just said, talent acquisition due to the talent shortage in the market. Digital transformation came second, and this is really about using technology to help overcome challenges in the market. So one of the key factors why Bullhorn has invested in Sourcebreak from an acquisition perspective is obviously to adopt the best technology to help our customers, search and match being a key um, component of the, of the hiring cycle. And then finally, talent experience. Um, talent expectations have changed in the market. They expect more from the agencies that they work, for, uh, work with, and they also um, expect a, a better experience. Um, and this is critical in a talent short market. So the better experience that you're able to give to talent, the more referrals you're likely to acquire, the more re redeployment you're able to do. And these all count. These make things easier in a talent short market. Naturally, the more referrals and the more redeployment you're doing, the less emphasis there is on finding new candidates. And it's really about maximizing those opportunities. Um, and that can only be delivered through offering that great talent experience. And for the first time, winning clients is not in the first three. Um, however, this could shift with market changes that might be happening into the, into the next year. So keeping on the theme of talent experience, I'm going to cover Bullhorn's connected recruiting methodology um, and its importance in terms of maintaining an engaged talent pool. So connected recruiting, and some people might have already seen this, um, but those for those that haven't, connected recruiting is a strategy that empowers staffing firms to engage talent at every stage of the talent lifecycle. 
Um, and by thinking this way, staffing firms can ensure an incredible experience for their talent. Uh, they can basically create an ever-growing and consistent, engaged talent pool that wants to work with you. So ultimately, they want to work with you. And this helps to uh, ultimately lower uh, talent acquisition costs. So the four stages that we've got, we've got attract, and that's essentially pulling talent into your database, whether that's through job boards or other sources. But most importantly, making sure that you then communicate and follow up with them at the right time so they don't completely disappear. You've got the engage stage where um, you're basically engaging with talent already in your database with the right message at the right time for the right opportunities. And again, making sure that they may, they're they maintained as a an active talent pool that's ready to work with you. You've got the onboarding stage, which is about uh, delivering a positive onboarding experience right the way up from your first interaction with them um, in terms of the job offer all the way through to their first day and throughout the first weeks on the job you know the, the the placement doesn't end when the placement's been made it's all about nurturing that person onwards and then finally nur practically nurturing throughout the assignment so throughout the journey of someone working at a particular client so that you can easily engage with them for their next role um, and search and match plays a, a critical part of this throughout the talent life cycle so the obvious example is the attract phase. How can we find um, more candidates to match them to, to jobs that we might have? But it also plays a key part in the engage and nurture phases. So key examples here of when you've got, um, you know, I hate this term, but there's no better one for it. Silver medalists where you've got a great candidate. They've gone through the entire interview process, but they've just been pipped uh, to the post by somebody else. What do we then do with that particular candidate? If we just allow them to go in a, into a black hole, then all of that investment that we've made into that candidate is completely wasted. Whereas we can use search and match, then potentially find other alternative jobs that might be a good fit for them. And then likewise at the nurture stage, if we have a contractor who's coming to the end of their contract and we obviously want to increase redeployment, especially as we've seen in the current market, then being able to match them to jobs that, that match their profile is, again, is a key factor in this. So search and match plays a huge role in the connected recruiting methodology um, throughout the entire, entire cycle. So we've seen that search and match is a core element to the talent life cycle, um, obviously within connected recruiting and the market conditions dictate that agencies need to, to, to be on it, to be successful, they need to be great at search and match. So what did we do at Bullhorn? Um, we've got a little bit of a rep for this, uh, but we had a great search and match partner in Sortsbreaker um, and we've acquired them. But that's not the end of the story. We don't simply obviously acquire these great technology partners and then just leave them in isolation and then bolt them on when the customer needs them. What we essentially do is that we build them uh, or, or put them within the Bullhorn firewall for want of a, uh, of a better term. So by acquiring a source breaker, we don't just say, hey, Mr. Customer, this is the search and match tool we use, but we fully integrate it into the Bullhorn ecosystem. Um, and then we bring it within the Bullhorn firewall. So it's completely within the um, sort of segmented, not segmented, it's completely um, within the Bullhorn um, ecosystem from a integration perspective. Uh, and we've done that with multiple acquisitions to date. So we've done that with Herefish, for example, which is now Bullhorn Automation. Uh, we've done that with Cube19, which is now Bullhorn Analytics. And it ultimately means that Sourcebreaker is now fully integrated within the Bullhorn platform. And it has benefits such as single sign-on. So you only need to sign on once into Bullhorn and then you have access to all of these different solutions, but Sourcebreaker being one of them. And the other key thing is that all of these solutions are now part of the same roadmap and they all work together to build out use cases and provide a technology level that supports all of the elements of connected recruiting but most importantly works together to build out um, the, the use cases and support customers from a use case perspective so everything is connected together we don't just keep things separate uh, there's full integration plan around that uh, and the key thing here, here is all of these solutions work together so that you optimize ROI from your technology investments and obviously the Bullhorn ecosystem. And Adam will dive into this in, in more detail later. So as we said earlier, the most obvious place that Sourcebreaker will enhance um, the Bullhorn platform is at the attract stage. You know, by able be, being able to search across multiple external sources and incorporating automation, we're able to find the best candidates and pull them into our databases ahead of the 
of the competition. And Sourcebreak is fantastic in terms of being able to boost recruiter productivity by taking all the heavy lifting work away from them from a search and match perspective, um, and then ultimately optimizing the ROI that we get across all of our candidate sources. So it's a great tool and a great um, component of the Born platform now at that attract phase to pull in candidates that we might ordinarily have missed or those gem candidates that we not, might not have already ordinarily found and pull those into our databases. But the attract phase is also where we see huge amounts of wastage on candidates and, and money on job boards. So job boards are perfect to find candidates. Obviously, we rely on those to find candidates and attract candidates. The wastage comes from not basically processing candidates correctly and providing subpar experience as part of that process um, that doesn't effectively maintain engagement. So, for example, as soon as somebody applies for a role, we're not sending an acknowledgement to that candidate to say thanks for your application, or we're not practically reaching out to those candidates that aren't a good fit with alternative roles or even content that's going to enhance their job search. We just allow them to, to fit into a black hole within our database and we never see them again or speak to them again. They're just part of our database. And this causes uh, recruitment agencies to spend money on the same candidates time and time again because you're not understanding what's in your database as opposed to your external searches and therefore you're using and pulling in the same candidates over and over again. Um, from a from a placement perspective and it ultimately me, ultimately means from from the slide as you can see there that only a fraction of your acquired database ends in placements so we need to maintain engagement with all our candidates all of those little dots that go into the database by offering them a fantastic experience with our agency and if we do our database then becomes a candidate community of engaged talent. And this is really crucial. We need to think about all of our talent database being a community that we need to maintain engagement with. They're no longer just a series of data that we can use to help help us with our goals of, of placing within roles. We need to maintain an engaged talent community that wants to work with us. And this is crucial to agency success. Uh, and we need to really stop thinking and using that term database and really uh, use that term community that we nurture to best serve us and achieve our goals as a recruitment agency. And if we do, and what this means for your agency is that you then have the flywheel effect from a connected recruiting perspective, where you have a cycle of engaged talent that powers your agency forward. And it operates in a cyclical way, all the way from attract through to nurture and redeployment over and over again. And Bullhorn sees Sourcebreaker as a critical component of this and provide and to provide that great experience that talent expects. And ultimately to provide the recruiter productivity from taking a lot of the admin and the manual search and match functionality away from the or actions away from the recruiter in order to boost their productivity in order to capitalize on the opportunity that we've got as part of this flywheel effect. And throughout the cycle, we're, uh, so we see Sourcebreaker being able to help us attract, engage and nurture talent. So hopefully I've shown you how excited we are in terms of the possibilities that Sourcebreaker brings to the Bullhorn platform and the further enhancements from a technology perspective it brings to the connected recruiting cycle. The final point I wanted to cover before passing you on to Adam is just how using search and match technology like Sourcebreaker can future-proof your business. So what we have here on this slide is we've got a general cyclical market line with economic peaks and troughs, or we'll put another way, the number of jobs that are available. So when the economy is, is booming, we have a high number of jobs at the peak. And then obviously when we're in a recession, there is a, a lower number of jobs and we have that trough. Now, if we add another line, which shows the impact on the availability of candidates, you can see that this is uh, an inverse. So when the economy peaks, there are lots of jobs but low number of candidates and vice versa when there is a, an economic trough. So by optimizing search and match, you can switch focus between candidate search and client search when you need to, helping you to be successful regardless of the market conditions. So irrespective of whether we're in a peak or a trough, you're able to switch your focus from a, a search and match perspective to, I need more clients, I'm able to find more clients out there. And Adam will run through how Sourcebreaker gives you indicators of who will be good clients or those that are potentially looking to do some hiring. And then equally, when they're in a, a time of 
of a, of, of a peak where there is not there's lots of um, sorry there's not many candidates available we can then focus our search and match uh, efforts on good candidates making sure we've got an engaged um, ready to work workforce within our talent community rather than database so really it's about future proofing yourself using search and match technology and that's one of the key reasons why uh, Bullhorn have brought in Sourcebreaker as part of the talent platform um, that we're offering so I'll now pass it on to Adam uh, and he's going to run through an overview of Sourcebreaker. Thanks, Liam. Um, so ultimately, where I wanted to start is why we created the Sourcebreaker business and, and where it started. And the original value proposition was really to change the way recruiters search. Recruiters are you know, incredible at building relationships with candidates, building relationships with clients. Um, but a lot of people didn't lack or lacked the uh, technical skills to be able to actually search all of the platforms that they had access to um, effectively to maintain that they were returning the right candidates um, that they could. Um, we found through doing research that um, only 20% of the available candidates were actually returned in recruiters searches um, against the po total possibility um, against their database. So we took this problem and, and sort of take it on a little bit of a, a journey. Um, if you get my next slide, please, Liam. Thank you. Um, and, and really took on this journey of um, discovery across what the market needed and what we were going to produce um, as a business. So for those of you who are on the webinar, um, I did see some friendly, uh, friendly names on the uh, attendee list. Um, we really started ultimately as that search builder. So being able to you know, utilize synonyms um, and an ontology to find additional candidates. Um, we then developed the job leads, which gives us the search and match capabilities. And that was really from, uh, from our clients saying, you know, this is what we need. You know, we're now starting to see different changes within the market. The market then started to demand a more connected approach to everything. So trying to have one screen in which everything was available. Um, so we built our, our CRM integrations and our CV database integrations, um, the Bullhorn one being, um, being key to that. And then we really started to move into you know, a more automated market um, and people having you know, information fed to them at the right time exactly when they needed it. Uh, which gave us our source bots uh, and then ultimately the, the full Intel center. Um, then during this crazy market that we've been experiencing over the last 18 months, we had lots of people doing a lot of work and therefore needing to collaborate across the solution um, and really started to work on tools in which recruiters could collaborate together and see exactly what's happening um, within your agency. So that brings us to the present day um, and the Sourcebreaker solution looks um, as, as so. Um, there are three core modules to Sourcebreaker, um, and I'm also going to touch on the Bullhorn integration. So search, ultimately what we're known for um, and where we started, um, and that search builder is still core part of the Sourcebreaker technology. So how that works is the recruiter will come into the platform, they'll type in exactly what they're looking for, Sourcebreaker will then give you all of the different variations or synonyms for how you could express that job title or skill, um, giving that a really enhanced search that you can then make sure that you're getting access to the full range of talent, um, wherever that be. Um, secondly, we're then able to utilize that search across multiple sources. So across uh, the CV databases, uh, places like Read, Monster, CV Library, um, and across also social media, um, looking at LinkedIn. What we can then look at is how we're actually approaching search as a methodology. So this is where our smart search feature comes in. So one of the things that we really push at Sourcebreaker is being able to get to those very best candidates first and then have a methodology in which you can backtrack from those best candidates to see the wider market rather than running a really wide search and just constantly scrolling through candidates. So all of that together increases the efficiency of your recruiters. So up to 200% increase in the candidates, um, a third of uh, recruiter productivity in actually making those searches more productive and, and speed to market, which as we know in this candidate short market, it's not only about finding people, but it's about finding people efficiently 
um, and quickly. Once we've then identified the candidates, we're then able to switch to business development, uh, to our cell module. Um, and as Liam mentioned at the start, you know, this is can be used in, in lots of different ways. One, it can be used in a market where you're trying to break into you know, a new area or a new uh, geography um, and just need to find out who is hiring. Uh, that's really where the lead scanner comes in. So what this does is it searches directly across companies' websites, uh, giving you access to all of the jobs that that particular business has posted. Um, so you can see you know, who are the top hirers of Java in Leeds or who are the top hires of mechanical engineers in Norwich. Um, so you can start to understand who is hiring and what they're what they're hiring for. But also it enables you to be able to actually take candidates to market. So those silver medalists is one thing that, that Liam mentioned, um, being able to find all those people who you haven't quite placed um, jobs. Or if you're just working with somebody who's a really core candidate that you've maybe worked with before or um, you see as somebody um, you know great to place actually being able to reverse the search that you create from a candidate standpoint to put that candidate's details into the system and find business development opportunities directly for that particular candidate we then have the the funding and salary data uh, which is one of my favorite features within within sourcebreaker so this enables you to find companies that have just taken new rounds of funding. Uh, so they've taken their Series A or Series B or even right down to uh, the early um, seed funding. This gives you a signal ahead of the market that people are generally going to be hiring. I say generally because it can't be 100% of the time. Um, but if they've just taken a round of funding, they're going to be growing the business, they're going to be going to market. Um, and therefore, as the recruitment holy grail, if you can get into that business ahead of time, then you're able to actually win those jobs before anybody else um, within the competition. Um, as for the salary data and the, and the email finder, these enable your recruiters to just get to information quicker. As we said, you know, that speed to market is so essential in this competitive marketplace um, and being able to have everything under one hood and have those tools available to recruiters um, gives you that competitive advantage. Then we look at automation. So what I like to say is we don't pretend at Sourcebreaker um, and having worked in recruitment previously um, that we live in this utopian world where you find a candidate, you find a job, you put the two together and you make a placement. We all wish it was so simple. So what we have is the ability to automate that entire process through candidate alerts. Anytime there's a new candidate who posts their CV on one of the databases, your recruiters will be alerted, um, giving them again that speed to market and, and first mover advantage. Um, they can also do exactly the same thing for jobs. So imagine that candidate that you're really wanting to place, that silver medalist, you can actually set up a specific alert for jobs that suit that candidate. As soon as they're alerted, you can push the candidate forward for that particular role um, and start to win business development and new jobs um, within different businesses. Um, and also be posted market insights. So this is things like news um, fed right to your recruiter as it happens so that they're able to utilize it in their conversations and differentiate themselves from the competition. So that's the Sourcebreaker platform and how does this actually work within Bullhorn? Well, the added advantages of using Sourcebreaker and Bullhorn gives you a really rich database search. So as Liam said, we're trying to turn databases into these communities, but you can only turn them into communities if we are constantly speaking to them. And you can only speak to the candidates if they're being returned in your search. So again, pointing to that fact that on average, recruiter searches only you know, surface 20% of the candidates available when they create it, if you think about your database, that means that every search that's been run, there's 80% wastage of candidates that are sat there relevant for that role, but your recruiters aren't accessing. So giving you the rich database search enables you to utilize candidates already in your CRM, they're candidates you've already paid for, um, you've had that cost of acquisition, um, so really being able to utilize them um, better. Um, you also are then able to push any new candidates 
as we mentioned in that attract phase um, from the CV databases straight into your CRM and straight into Bullhorn and um, fully coded. So for any marketeers um, and business owners on the, uh, on the uh, webinar, be music to your ears because now you can actually see which of your sources that you're spending money on are actually giving you returns. So where are your placements coming from ultimately and what are the, the sources we should be investing in further? And we can do exactly the same thing for the jobs. So a lot of agencies focus purely on where the candidate came from for, um, for, for returns. But actually, what if you were also tracking what your best sources for jobs were? So by being able to push jobs directly from Sourcebreaker into Bullhorn, you're able to report on how many jobs you're actually then also placing from the Sourcebreaker platform. Um, and what does it mean being now working with, with Bullhorn uh, moving forward? Well, it means we've now got unlimited access to the Bullhorn API. So as Liam mentioned, in that firewall, rather than as a marketplace partner, um, that gives us the access to so many things that we've been working on um, for over the years um, that just haven't been quite possible, but now are, which a couple I'll come to in a, in a minute. We also have access to that 40 million in R&D um, that Bullhorn spend annually. Um, and really the key to that is not only a source maker individual roadmap, but actually being able to look at what is being created for the other platforms, things like analytics and automation, and how all these stitch together and really a methodology of how you, if you use multiple of the, the platforms, they actually give an inherent uh, value that is greater than the sum of the parts between them. And ultimately it gives us that enterprise access to a global resource. So we can now service clients all around the world. We have support resources all around the world um, for that and being able to really support the Bullhorn customer base um, a lot further. Um, and looking forward into the roadmap, as I said, there's some really cool um, pieces that we've just released and we're going to be releasing um, in the near future. Um, so we've just released um, some the credit limiter, the candidate list and collaboration, um, as mentioned, which is really solving some very issues um, at the moment. And we're going to have that deeper reporting so you're able to really see exactly what is happening um, across the platform. Um, and for Bullhorn customers, some really exciting parts that's going to be really pushing that reporting into Bullhorn Analytics so you can really see where in your business is working and what you need to be doing to push best practice. Um, and then the vision. So one of the things that I mentioned with that API access is being able to then automate actual source bots from the CRM, so from Bullhorn ATS and being able to be alerted whenever somebody else within the business has actually added a candidate to the database that's perfect for the role that you're utilizing. Again, what Liam was saying, looking at that adoption of the database to actual deployment, we want to be increasing every single person that's been put into the database is being utilized and alerted across the business. Um, we're translating the ontologies to support businesses across the globe um, into mainland Europe and, and wider. Um, and we're going to be utilizing data using the market mapper um, to actually show you trends and being able to give you more conversational pieces um, to utilize with your clients. So a very, very exciting vision for, for 2023. Um, and yeah, really key to see how the Sourcebreaker and Bullhorn platforms yeah, push this forward. Brilliant. Perfect. I hope that was uh, useful for everybody in terms of, you know, just introducing, you know, how important search and match is from a Bullhorn perspective, how it obviously helps with regards to connected recruiting. We've had a lot of fantastic feedback around connected recruiting and how it's helped um, Bullhorn customers. So obviously we're delighted and really excited, as, as Adam says, to get Sourcebreaker into that product roadmap and, and working further um, together um, as opposed to being a, a marketplace partner. So if you do have any questions, obviously next steps are, if you're not a source breaker, they're a customer already, then if you'd like a demo of source breaker, please get in touch with either your account manager, if you're a Bullhorn customer already, or um, to, into Adam and his team, and they can arrange a, a demonstration with uh, with you. And then in terms of further information, 
Uh, that can be found on the Sourcebreaker and Bullhorn website. So obviously bullhorn.com for Bullhorn and sourcebreaker.com for Sourcebreaker. I would imagine in the not too distant future, uh, a lot of those pieces of content will be merged together as we uh, build out the, the relationship and the integration uh, now that we've uh, we've joined forces. But now I'd like to open the floor out to any uh, 